Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We're offside here, but that doesn't mean you can't do a good beer review. Um, we were fortunate enough to get one bottle of this, I believe it's pr pronounced Petternails uh, Classic IPA. Um, it's out of this uh, Fredericksburg, Texas, out of Fredericksburg, Texas. Um, a lot of the beers um, that we review that come out of Texas get tons of views and comments. I mean, I think it all goes back to Texas pride. I'm not from Texas. I'm not going to pretend I understand it, but I like it. Um, this beer um, isn't real widely um, advertised on the internet. It's been around since 2012. They call it a clear copper uh, uh, amber, soft hop floral aromas, perfect balance malt soft hop finish, a true English style IPA using U.S. hops and malts, not too bitter, but perfectly balanced. So what I call that as a description is completely and utterly boring. Um, that's pretty plain Jane, in my opinion. Um, not picking on them, but when you're used to drinking and reviewing beers from uh, Stone Brewing Company, uh, Lagunitas, uh, they definitely get a little more creative. So um, it definitely has that color they're talking about. It definitely is a little more coppery than a lot of beers. It's very filtered. It's got a nice head on it. Um, but um, it definitely has more of that multi coppery color, which is as they described. IBUs are 52, ABVs are 6%. So a nice uh, middle of the road uh, IPA. Wow, it smells like an English beer. So I would definitely give them that as well. Um, smells pretty good, pretty malty. A little bit of caramel, uh, definitely on the maltier side for the IPA. Uh, let's check it out. That's good. Um, very middle of the road in terms of what I call the excitement factor, but for somebody who's just getting into IPA, somebody who wants to kind of branch out from lagers or wheat beers, um, this would be a great use, um, or excuse me, a great example uh, for those people. Um, it doesn't have a, a strong finish to it. Definitely is malty for an IPA, but that is exactly how they described it. So um, pretty dead on there. Um, the, the aroma has a little bit of that kind of that breadiness, um, almost what I sometimes refer to as that wet paper towel smell, um, which lends to that English style of the bitterness, but it is very well balanced, um, nice, very subtle. I think the word they used was soft, hot finish, but um, overall not a bad beer. Um, it, you, do, you know, in the IPA market, it's my favorite uh, style of beer, so I'm really, really critical, but I would give this, I would give this a three and a half, um, I would probably buy this again. I would, I would reserve this beer, honestly, for a lot of um, what I call my wannabe beer friends. Uh, in terms of, I don't really like the beer they drink, but I want to branch them out to something a little different. This would be a great example of it. So they don't distribute where I am on the East Coast, but um, it's it was it's definitely would be worth you know the money. I don't know what it it markets for, but uh, let, us know, let us know if you tried it. Leave comments on our YouTube channel and website. We appreciate you watching. We upload all the time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will see you again.